Hi, I'm Randall Allen Loy, and you have landed once again on the Infertility Channel. I thank you for subscribing to us and telling your friends. So one of the pitfalls of being a reproductive endocrinologist and infertility specialist is oftentimes, it's happened many, many times through the years, my wife and I will be at church or out to dinner, and some woman she doesn't know comes up and announces, hey, your husband got me pregnant, and many heads turn. So one of the reasons we've been able to help so many women become pregnant is in vitro fertilization. More than one million babies have been born through this technique since 1978. Now today we're gonna to be talking about the different forms of IVF. Many clinics in the country offer various forms of IVF. And in our clinic, we refer to these as natural cycle IVF, modified natural cycle IVF, gentle stimulation IVF, and traditional IVF. So what do those terms mean? In the natural cycle, IVF, we consider that a diagnostic form of in vitro fertilization. Let's say that a couple has not been able to become pregnant through insemination. They may want to know if the eggs are normal and if their sperm and eggs together might make an embryo. Now, the logistics are minimal there, the cost are minimal, and the success rates vary around 10 or 11% take home baby. Not very high success rates. To get higher success rates, we need to have more eggs because IVF success, we're gonna be talking about that next time, is really a matter of the eggs. The more eggs, the more embryos. The more embryos, the better the selection. The better the selection, the better the implantation rate. So, natural cycle IVF, one egg. In the modified natural, we use that in couples where maybe there's an ovulation dysfunction. Maybe there is no ovulation, so we might need to add an oral medication to help that lady produce one egg, or maybe two eggs if we're lucky. Typically the medicines used are clomiphene or clomid, many of you have used that, or another medicine is letrozole, Femara is the trade name, and those medications will give us one or maybe two eggs. So we then might have two targets for the sperm to hit. Again, logistics minimal, cost minimal, success not a whole lot better. Now the more standard forms of IVF that are practiced in most clinics in the world involve so-called gentle stimulation IVF, where we use those injectable medications the Folly Stem, Gonalef, Minipure, and they go by other names in other countries, but those are purified forms of FSH and LH, those pituitary hormones that cause the ovaries to produce eggs. So, in the gentle stimulation setting, we get five to six eggs. In the traditional setting, we get 11 or 12 eggs. So why would a couple choose gentle stimulation over a traditional cycle? Why choose five eggs over 12 or more? Because they may not want to strand a bunch of embryos. Maybe they just want one baby. So in the gentle stimulation setting, we use less in the way of medication, five or six eggs. The logistics are slightly greater than in the modified natural cycle. The costs are greater and the success rates are greater. Some years ago, we published a study in the American Journal of Obstetrics and Gynecology showing that this minimal stimulation type IVF actually led to pregnancy in about 40% of patients. Had we done that study today, our rates may have been higher due to changes in IVF techniques in the laboratory. Now, what is traditional IVF? That's the IVF that's practiced throughout the world. In our clinic, 11 or 12 eggs are retrieved. Logistics are greater because more medications are used, the costs are higher, and the rates of success are higher. We typically will use traditional IVF when we're going to genetic diagnostic testing down the road. And this technique offers the greatest chance for you to take home a baby in a given cycle. Well, speaking of babies, I had a patient a few years ago who was a baseball aficionado. And on the day of the embryo transfer, she had taken markers and marked herself up pretty nicely. Right above her pubic bone was home plate, and her right knee was first base, her ankles coming together was second base, her left kneecap was third base, and then back to home plate. So she had drawn out all four steps of IVF on her legs. She had the sperm chasing the eggs down to first base. At first base, they became embryos. Second base, they become eight cell embryos. Third base, they were blastocyst. And then she had an arrow pointing to home plate and she said, slide, baby, slide. And so we got the embryos back and she didn't have the whole baseball team, but she did have twins from that first cycle. So two embryos slid in safely to home plate. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for joining us. If you have comments, leave them below. If you would tell your friends about us, please subscribe. Next time we're going to be talking about success rates and risks of IVF. Thanks so much.